I hear sometimes I bought this serum, I bought this lotion you recommend and I don't have the effect. The products assist greatly but it's understanding what we are actually doing here that's what really matters. Think of the skin as having three layers to address. What's under the surface of the skin, the front skin layer and what's on the skin. The glass skin effect is achieved by placing maximum focus on the skin within, then treating the skin layer to make it as translucent as possible, then to hydrate and lock the moisture by products applied on the outside, and finally protecting it all by using SPF. The extras like face massage, treatments or makeup enhance the effect, but the basis of a dewy skin is always hydration and retaining moisture. Best way to do so is to use watery form of humectants on the damp skin, best straight after washing your face and straight out of the shower. Humectants get into the skin and attract water. The most popular is hyaluronic acid, which can hold up to 1000 times its weight in water. Other humectants are algae, glycerin, sodium PCA, sorbitol, etc. Before you use it though, remember to use a toner to balance the skin's pH. Lastly, use Essence. It's a watery product which helps to retain moisture for longer and restore skin elasticity. How does it look in practice? You get out of the shower, put a toner on, put hyaluronic acid, put Essence. The aim of the front layer of the skincare is to make it as translucent as possible to remove all the obstacles that stop the moisture shining from within. It's to even out its tone, polish, brighten, remove all the blackheads, minimize the appearance of the pores, just anything that stands in the way from the shine from within. For this I recommend whitening products, which are not to bleach the skin, but to brighten it and get rid of brown spots. I find it best when I have whitening ingredients in the lotions, in the creams, as well as a specific topical kojic acid cream that I use on the spots when needed. Product I use is again Japanese brand Hadalabo. Their blue series contains Arbutin and it's a whitening series. I have this vitamin C serum by Its Skin. It's really nice brightening serum. And this tiny kojic acid cream by Yoko. It works great on my freckles and uh, spot marks. Regular exfoliating about twice a week with my favorite plain sugar. I also have this exfoliating cleanser with salicylic acid. You can use anything that helps you exfoliate the skin. Minimizing the pores and getting rid of blackheads. The best way I found for blackheads is to do double cleansing and I didn't realize its power until I started double cleanse in the morning and in the evening. It works great, probably the best blackhead method for me. You can try electric face brush. I like good old baking soda and lemon mask. You mix baking soda and lemon, put it on the nose and wherever you have blackheads, wait 20 minutes, then massage it with an old toothbrush and rinse it off. Product-wise, I really like this peach and sake pore serum by Skin Food. While it doesn't clear the blackheads, it does a great job at tightening and minimizing the appearance of the pores. Here you are moisturizing and sealing to help retain the moisture within the skin. From serums through creams to facial oils, here you have a freedom to choose the products that help to address your particular skin needs. For example, dullness, redness, fine lines, spots. Whatever you do, just remember to use the product from the lightest to the heaviest. Product I use for this stage is, surprise surprise, another Hadalabo product, this time it's a milk. I sometimes use the red one with collagen and elastin or the blue one which is whitening with arbutin. I also like Moistful Collagen by Edget House. I really like this Juva Water Emulsion. It has more vitamin C than lemon and it's very brightening and refreshing. I sometimes use a cream. Right now I'm finishing off this Peptide Lift Cream by Polish brand Eva. It's alright, but when it finishes I'm gonna grab some good Korean cream because they are just working best for me. On top of this come face masks, sleeping masks, mists, which adds extra boost of moisture to the skin as long as you use them regularly. Don't forget to always have SPF at hand. I live in Scotland where there is a permanent shortage of sun, so the 42 SPF that's in my Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream is perfectly enough for day-to-day -day existence. 
but if the sun does come out I either use easily available SPF 50 by brands like Garnier or I treat myself sometimes to Japanese or Korean products right now I'm awaiting my Bjorn SPF because I'm gonna go on holidays again soon <laughs> good skin is not about having more cosmetics than you can count but having the right products doing the right things and applied in the right order all of this shouldn't take you more than five to ten minutes in the morning and five to ten minutes in the evening i know it's a lot to take in <laughs> i try to be as clear as possible with the explanation and does it make sense does it help at all i hope it does and i hope it brings you closer to that glossy dewy look that's very much in these days have a good day everybody i'll see you later have fun <laughs> bye